Welcome back to our video series that helps you get started with your Audiobox i1 or i2 interface. This segment, part four, is for owners of Windows computers. If you're using the Audiobox i1 or i2 with a Windows computer, you will need to install a driver. First, you'll need to download the Windows driver and control panel. Use the links in your My Personas account product page to download the driver. Your Audiobox installer requires that your interface be connected to an available USB port on your PC. We recommend that you quit all applications and disable your antivirus software before starting installation. Once you've downloaded the installer, double click the icon to launch it. The installer will open to the welcome screen. Click Next. You'll be asked if you would like the installer to automatically create an icon on your desktop for the Audiobox control panel. This control panel allows you to adjust the buffer size and sample rate of your Audiobox. Creating a desktop icon will provide you with quick access to these controls. Click Next. The installer will scan your computer and you'll be prompted to begin the installation. You'll also be prompted to connect your interface if the installer doesn't detect it. Click Install Driver. Once the installation has successfully completed, you'll be prompted to restart the computer. Click Finish to automatically restart your computer. Or click Later to close the installer and restart later. Please note, the driver won't function correctly until your computer has been restarted. You may want to set up your computer's sound preferences to use the i1 or i2 as the default playback and recording device. This means, instead of sound coming from the built-in speakers on the computer, it will come from the interface and your monitors or headphones. To open the control panel in Windows 7, click Start, Control Panel. To open the control panel in Windows 8 or later, from the Start page, begin typing Control Panel, and click the Control Panel icon when it appears. Click Sound to open the Sound Configuration dialog. In the Playback tab, select Personas Audio Box I1 or I2, and click Set Default. In the Input tab, select Personas Audio Box I1 or I2. Click OK. This concludes Part 4 of this video series. If you're also going to use an iPad with your I1 or I2, watch Part 5, and then view Part 6 to get started with Studio One Artist Recording and Production Software.